What is up guys? My name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the semi RC vlog. So today I have like a million and a half errands to run but I do have some cool RC stuff that I'm doing this afternoon and today and I'm also visiting in a whole bunch of cool places. So I plan on going over to the the RC track that just opened up by Lone Star Park. Uh, I think they're referring to it as GP RC track. It's Indy RC World's new outdoor RC track over by Lone Star Park, which is our horse racing track here in the DFW Metroplex. But before I do, I have to go do some farm work. I know that sounds kind of weird, but believe it or not, my parents have a couple of farms and I'm farm sitting right now. So I have to run out to the country and do cow and farm stuff. But before I do that, I am going to run over to a gun shop because my rear sights on my carry weapon, which I carry a Glock 43, they moved. It's kind of frustrating. So I'm gonna—I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I don't know if there's something to put on it. If you guys know what I can do about that, I would appreciate you guys posting a comment and let me know. But I'm actually gonna see if they have something to remove the sights. I know the rear sights just slide in. Or maybe they have something to put on the side. Maybe I'll get new sites. I don't know. So I'm taking you guys along with me. Uh, mainly because I'm visiting cool places. And I'm lonely. I didn't even bring my boys with me this time. So I'm driving. I'll probably be on the road for a good six hours today. Driving around. And you guys are coming with me. And while I'm driving, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you. I'm going to talk to you guys. And you guys will get to know me. So we'll see you at the first stop. All right, so I lied to you guys. This isn't my first stop. My first stop was actually Tractor Supply. I needed to get dog food. But this is the second stop with the first stop of the vlog. And it's not going so good so far. So where I'm at right now is the gun shop that I thought I was gonna be going to to look for maybe a sight pusher or something to fix the sights on my Glock. So here's the gun store. It's raining, so you might get rain on you. There's the gun store. And they didn't make it very long, guys. They're gone. Completely gone. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, completely gone. You guys can't see in there, but it is completely empty. But we're in luck. Because right next door is a hobby shop that's actually the closest hobby shop to me that I've rarely go into. Last time I went in here. Peter, the guy that manages NDRC World work here, which was a long time ago. It had to be three years ago. And I actually haven't even been in this new location. So we're gonna go walk in. I'm gonna show you guys around. Hopefully they don't get mad at me for, for taping or recording, but this is RC Zone. They used to have another location that was closer to me, but let's go in here and check it out. What's up, man? I've seen him in a while. Bunch of tracks and stuff. Bunch of tracks and stuff. Let's go to the middle. I don't need to go to. Look at this. I mean, freaking Hoab. Hoab. Oh, bio. What are you buying now? My daughter. Can you, can you subscribe to me? It's a nice little shop, guys. Can't believe I haven't been in here. Oh, look at the GT box. I've never seen the GT box. That thing's clean. What are you doing, Mark? How are you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I'm vlogging from here, guys. Oh, cool. Is that, is that Mr. Santa Maria over there? <laughs> that is me. <laughs> cool place, guys. This is kind of cool. I bet you guys didn't know that MIP made a tool set that was specific to the TRX4 Defender. Comes with the 1.5, 2.0, and the 7mm. 
Which I could have sworn I had two five in there too. I don't know why that's not in there, but pretty freaking cool. They got a whole bunch of tools. Well, that place was nice. Super nice people there. The manager was really quick. He recognized me. He, he came up, introduced himself. I've never met him personally before, but super nice guys up there. Super cool shop. So I didn't get anything I needed because I needed that gun shop to be open. So we might have to go to probably one of the greatest gun places ever, GT Distributors. Uh, there's one in Georgia, I believe, and I know there's one here in Dallas. Uh, we might swing by there. Let's see if we can get my sights fixed. And then of course we're going to the Grand, the new Grand Prairie track later. So y'all don't go anywhere. So I just got done at the farm. God, I hate farm work. So a little about me, and I, I kind of thought about this when I was vlogging today. I was like, why don't I do vlogs where you guys get to know me? So a little bit, bit about me that you guys probably don't know is I grew up like a super outdoorsman. And when I say that, like probably all the way up till I was about 14, I would go hunting and fishing. If it was, if hunting season wasn't going on, we were fishing every weekend. And when I say every weekend, it was like really bad where I, like at that time, I don't now, but I resented my dad for not letting me hang on my friends because I'd rather hang on my friends. But it kept me out of trouble. And I, I mean, I like hunting and fishing, but I'm truly, truly burnt out of it. So I know how to hunt and fish really well. I've actually fished tournaments in the past before. And you know, I grew up outdoors. So now my parents, they have two farms. They have a big hunting land out in East Texas. They have a lake house. And when they go out of town, which they're both retired now, so they're doing a lot of traveling, I'm having to watch all their stuff. So I have to go and check on cows and chickens and crap. Sucks. But a lot of people don't know that about me. They think that I am just a freaking city city guy, city boy, city Asian boy in that, in that case. I am in IT and uh, I work primarily in the data warehousing, data integration space, uh, business intelligence. What that means to the, to the normal people is that I just I work with data. And I've been doing it for over 10 years, so yeah, I'm a, I'm a IT techie outdoorsman RC car driver. It's weird. But that's part of the reason why I'm really big in RC is, you know, growing up, going doing outdoor stuff all the time. Like I, I remember going into a hobby shop and looking at a T-Max and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And I always wanted one. I just knew there was no way I was gonna convince my dad to drop three, four, three to $400 on an RC car when all he could think about was going fishing. So anyways, that's a little bit about me. I'll tell you guys more whenever more stuff comes up, but I'm actually done with all my daily errands today. So I am heading up to the track. Uh, before I head up to a track, I gotta eat. I haven't eaten all freaking damn starving. I had breakfast, that's it. But other than that, I'll see you guys at the track. Later. We made it, or I made it. We didn't anything, but there he is. We just sweating our butts off, having fun. It's pretty hot out here, dude. I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't bring. Stay that hydrated. Stuff. You gotta stay hydrated. But look, they got, they have wagons. Yeah. For you to get your stuff. Yeah, I was hoping that maybe they open up that back fence for us to go through there. Uh, that's the valet for the horse track. So if you go place your bets, I'll bet you they'll let you park there. Just go really? throw a hundred down on some random horse and have them park your car right I'll there. just go valet it real quick. Yeah, that, I mean, that'll work. That would be awesome. Look at this. The only thing missing right now is on the canopy. Yep, yep. It's been waves of people. Like when we first opened up, there were probably 20, 30 people. And then it kind of died down around this noon hour. and. Now more people showing up. So. Let's go check it out.
Super hot, but it's awesome out here. Indy trailer functioning. Tim Thomas not doing anything as usual. Doing his thing. Mr. Pita Hussa. Peter's beat down. Look, he looks. Slang you all freak. Parts. You got all the color and everything. It's like you've been outside all day or something. Slang in car parts, bro. Slang in car parts. Yeah, absolutely. So I heard a rumor that there's you can go to the top of this hill over here and see the see the horse racing track. The rumor is is in fact true. All right, I'm gonna go do that. Go check out some horses. I'm gonna go show you guys around. It looks. All right, here it is. The horse track. And the RC track. Super close. Race track. Horse racing track. Well, finally back home. Jeez. That was a lot of driving. And I'm exhausted. I've been out in the sun most of the day today. I am just completely exhausted. So, if you like this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next time. I'm about to go to a neighbor's house and take a little dip in the pool. So, I mean, I'm not doing it without the permission. They invited me over. My family's over there. They're all swimming. So, I could, I could use a swim. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.